just from the standpoint of environment, culture, all of that taken into consideration. And maybe I'm just short-sighted and maybe he's a more flexible, adaptable individual than I give him credit for. It just if that would have been Brian Kelly to, and I'm and, and forget the coaching situations out there, Brian Kelly to Michigan, Brian Kelly to Stanford, Brian Kelly to USC, a few Florida. other places, Florida, yeah. Florida, I mean, that, even, yeah, yeah, with the academic standards there. I just when I heard Brian Kelly LSU, that's a marriage I would have never, never in my wildest dreams come up with. Of all the power programs, right? You know the the fifteen twenty top, you know, top programs, LSU would have been one of my last one or two that I would have seen as a fit for Brian Kelly. And you're talking about a guy that's from Boston, Massachusetts to spend his whole career coaching in either, you know, uh, Michigan or Indiana or Ohio. I mean, that, that, that's it. And you listen to Brian Kelly talk, you look at how he dresses, you look at the things he enjoys. None of those are criticisms. It's just an observation. Sure. And then you think of, is that really going to fit in Louisiana? Uh, you know, I, I don't, I don't know that it will. And that's not an insult. It's I, I, there's, pl- I wouldn't fit in a big city. I wouldn't fit in New York city or, or, or LA or Chicago. It's just some people are fits for certain places. I, the fit doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And the, the work that he's going to have to put in on the recruiting trail, those are going to require him to do things he never really did at Notre Dame. And that's the thing that kind of, I found puzzling. So the timing of him leaving and the school he chose was more shocking to me than the fact that he left. Notre Dame. 